Hello everybody, welcome back to Elite Beast Society. This is Dr. Haruti and uh, I'm the creator of Elite Beast Society which is a bilingual academy of English and Persian. Uh, I'm going to give you, um, give a presentation here on Roundtable, one of the core activities, educational activities here at Elite Beast Society. And this is a term I, I have coined back in uh, 2016 when I was working on my PhD thesis project and uh, I'm going to give you some uh, basic information on what roundtable is, roundtable activities and I've written this article this is accessible for free and I'm going to uh, provide you with the link to this article if you are curious to study the text version of this video and uh, Actually, I have to read some parts because uh, this presentation is going to be uh, rather elaborate. And uh, yeah, it's better for me actually to just, I've already highlighted the main points and uh, that could uh, build the gist of this presentation. And uh, I'm going to read it out to you. Uh, if you're curious, actually, you can get to know this core activity at the Ludby Society. So what is Roundtable? First of all, Roundtable, as you can see, uh, is a good activity to practice both synchronous and asynchronous learning at the same time. And here is the table of content. I can just click on the first item to go directly to that part, the coinage of Roundtable activity. So the founder and designer of Elulbi Society, Dr. Muhammad Hussein Hariri asked, that is me, first thought of the roundtable activity and coined this term in 2016 when he was working, when I was working on my PhD thesis or dissertation with the following title, interactivity and social presence, two ingredients for creating an effective online learning community. So. The adoption of this term lies in King Arthur's uh, legendary round table, which he and his knights used to sit at in order to discuss important and complicated issues. As its name suggests, King Arthur's round table didn't have any special angle to indicate the superiority of any of the participants, even King Arthur himself. So the round, the round shape of King Arthur's table is a perfect testimony to their fairness of actually the meetings. So while I was working on my PhD thesis, I was trying to be a fair teacher in our online classes, which was necessary for me because I, I was leading some, I was running some conversation classes to trigger uh, classroom interaction in a a nonchalant manner or fair way so as you can see this is the um, actually uh, snapshot or screenshot I took from one of them actually uh, online classes to practice conversation for IELTS preparation and a roundtable activity in online conversation class so as a result I mindfully made a simile or comparison between King Arthur's Roundtable and our online conversation class lasting for over one year with 42 IELTS candidates as the participants of my study. So what is Roundtable activity? Uh, in this activity, students are asked to study an assigned lesson before the online or synchronous class. I just provide them with a link to the assigned material. I, I create uh, actually a post on my website on WordPress and I, I give the link to that lesson um, before the class and the students are supposed to study the, the lesson and the lesson includes a video or podcast which is a typical example of flipped learning uh, in which the class time is not used for lecturing by the teacher so I as a teacher do not do not teach one particular lesson again and again instead I try to perfectly create a lesson and then share it with my students. So language learners read the assigned text and watch the embedded video in the lesson before the live class or synchronous class. That's why actually it can uh, provide you with a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning uh, 
in a very good way. So the teacher mindfully violates initiation response feedback or IRF, making room for student interaction occurring in the asynchronous channels of communication, namely discussion boards and comment forms. So what is initiation response feedback? It's a kind of uh, pattern, question and answer pattern that generally starts or initiates by the teacher. Usually in traditional or ordinary classes, this is the teacher who asks the questions and not the other way around. Okay, each student is expected to leave at least one fresh comment or question and reply to one uh, to one of the existing comments and uh, questions. So before the class, uh, they study the lesson, they watch the video, and actually uh, each lesson at the bottom of each lesson there's a comment form, and the students are supposed to be active. Uh, commenting and replying to each other in the comment form. As predicted, there will be at least dozens of interactive comments and replies in response to the assigned topic or lesson. Okay, so let me change my glasses. Yeah, it's better. Accordingly, the roundtable activity can perfectly account for an amalgamation of both synchronous learning and asynchronous learning in online learning environment because uh, the main part of learning occurs to the students before the class by studying the text watching the video and leaving comments interactively so it's good integration and roundtable as you can see the students are um, able to practice all the four skills naturally both synchronously and asynchronously, and sometimes learners would actually forget that they are learning a foreign language. So the following sentences can outline the mechanism of implementing skill integration with the help of roundtables. The students read a passage before the class asynchronously to practice reading. They listen to any word or phrase by selecting any text with the help of our installed text-to-speech software. So at Elubi Society, in our lessons, uh, whenever you know, a member or a student actually selects any part of text, the text will be read out to that particular student to practice listening comprehension. They also watch the embedded video or podcast before the class or listening practice. And the students can learn vocabulary in context and learn vocabulary with images thanks to our built-in visual dictionary and thesaurus in context. Vocabulary improvement. Uh, if you are not familiar with our built-in visual vocabulary platform, we are number one uh, when it comes to, learn vocab to learning vocabulary in context with images. And you can Google it and you will notice that we are on the top of the page results learn vocabulary in context with images. This is because of the fact that we have just uh, developed over 2,800 uh, actually advanced vocabulary in context with images. Okay, so the students practice writing and grammar indirectly by participating in our common forms at the bottom of each lesson, writing practice. And if they make any particular mistake in grammar, their mistakes and errors will be corrected. So in the end, the students practice speaking on their own, uh, on their own written comments in the form of questions and answers in our online classes or speaking practice. So in the class, in our live classes or synchronous classes, uh, we would focus on the uh, written comments and we, we will have a discussion over them. Therefore, actually, we can also practice spe speaking. So as you can see, all the four skills, uh, including uh, vocabulary and grammar, are practiced. That is skill integration. So asynchronous learning and roundtable activity. As you can see, this roundtable activity, uh, which is a part of uh, which can promote asynchronous learning, can give flexibility in time to learners because the students can slow down or accelerate their own ideal learning pace to their own convenience. And also, it generally augments student reflectivity and awareness. 
because they, they are able to watch or listen to any embedded video or podcast as many times as required before each synchronous class. They can take notes or watch the subtitles uh, comfortably without being afraid of falling behind. They can absorb or digest uh, actually the material and even conduct further research if necessary. So flipped learning and round table activity. So if you don't know what flipped learning is, you can also uh, click here, go to the article and flip, click here to uh, actually study another article about flipped learning. So uh, flipped learning, flipped learning can uh, give you both in class and out of class activities and about out of class activities, the students have this chance to access the teacher's lecture or presentation in the form of videos or podcasts before the class. This is the skeleton of flipped learning. It means that the teacher does not teach one lesson again and again. Instead, he or she will just um, teach something perfectly and use that presentation or lecture actually to teach many other classes. So. As a result, the teacher doesn't need to teach the content or material over and over for each class. And the class time could tremendously be saved for more challenging and problem solving activities in synchronous or live classes. So round tables can facilitate flipped learning because it provides an additional level of student interactivity and reflectivity uh, to any usual flipped classroom that lacks round table. And why? Because uh, more learner autonomy is expected of the students because IRF is consciously discarded or jettisoned. In other words, the learners, uh, the learners should take charge of their own learning by questioning and answering each other asynchronously in the common forms and discussion boards and discussing the uh, uh, the, the accumulated points asynchronously in the live class. So the teacher is not the person who initiates the stream of questions and uh, answers. Uh, on the contrary, the students themselves initiate or actually commence the stream of uh, questions and uh, answering uh, questions and answers asynchronously in the common form or uh, forums. Collaborative flip learning. So one step forward, collaborative flip learning. Roundtables can spark an even more elevated type of flipped learning, which I call collaborative flipped learning. So by implementing roundtables in flipped classrooms, we can turn the spotlight on students in interactivity rather than individualization or individuality. In fact, the students need to collaborate, need to, they have to collaborate with each other asynchronously in the common forums and forums to provide the content for an informed discussion in the following live classes. So this is one of the obligatory assignments actually to leave a comment and also a reply to the existing comment before the class. That's why actually uh, it is rather collaborative because they learn from each other and they depend on each other to just uh, uh, improve learning to get to get the meaning of something and then in the class we will discuss our findings. Okay, so as a consequence in independency is replaced by interdependency or social autonomy. Uh, through collaborative flip learning, it is important to note that interdependency is a more mature level of autonomy compared to sheer learner autonomy or independency. All right, social presence and roundtable. What is social presence? Because actually it is, uh, again, one of the uh, basic elements of my PhD thesis. All right, 
The term social presence in online education refers to the learner's shared feelings of trust and belongingness toward the social context in which learning occurs, and also toward their classmates. In order to realize social presence in online venues, the following two requirements should first be met. Fun. Student interaction patterns or interactivity must be optimized in order to give rise to collaborative learning. Two, students might, must develop more active and responsive roles in learning and a sense of belongingness to the learning environment. So the role of the teacher in roundtables. Again, if you are not familiar with the concept of social presence, you can just visit our website at alilbi.net. You can see the domain at the bottom right corner of your screen and search for social presence. The teacher's role in round tables is similar to King Arthur's role in his round tables. That is to say, to ignite and encourage more classroom interaction among the learners. The teacher takes a neutral position because the teacher is supposed to be fair, like King Arthur was, as King Arthur was in his own round tables. So, contrary to IRF, in the round table activity, the students are expected to initiate the chain of questions and answers in the form of comments and replies taking place in the asynchronous comment forums and forums. Okay, how to implement round table activity? First of all, I should uh, make this, I, I should admit that a roundtable activity could not be prescribed to any uh, language learner or online classes. But this does not work greatly for young learners below puberty and also another group for which roundtable is not really suitable is elementary students. This is because of the fact that in the former group that is uh, actually uh, uh, young learners, the students are not cognitively mature enough to transcend and go beyond the in independency level and reach for social autonomy. And in the latter about um, elementary students, elementary students fail to self-regulate their learning, yet uh, actually they need constant assistance. All right, content-based instruction or CBI. So if you really like to implement roundtable in your online classes correctly, first of all, you need to use a correct uh, genre of CBI. You need to employ content-based instruction. And uh, you again, if you don't know what content content-based uh, content instruction is, you can just uh, visit our website and uh, study the article search for it okay your students will find the course interesting and inspiring if you mindfully select challenging questions and useful topics for discussion otherwise remember your students will become bored and they might f quit quit the course and leave your social context or actually online venue all right, uh, robust website in infrastructure. So uh, in order to run a successful online uh, community based on Roundtable, you need, uh, it requires a social context with a reliable and robust web server and up-to-date technology in order to accommodate dozens or hundreds of students participating in asynchronous activities. So uh, you cannot just fulfill this achievement on a web server which is so slow and not robust. As you might know, IDLB Society is on WordPress and we are feeding hundreds of English and Persian students. Persian is my mother tongue. So the roundtable activity is technically our principal activity. And for this reason, we have optimized our WordPress speed and user experience or UX to the maximum level and you can just test it uh, if just uh, search for llb.net our domain in 
uh, for example, GTmetrics.com or uh, that particular uh, Google service to test our uh, website speeds, uh, Lighthouse uh, web page, Google, I don't know, you can just search for it uh, on the internet. All right, so we have responded over responded over uh, to over uh, 5,000 and in fact actually this article was written uh, some time ago uh, these days we have more than 5,200 text and voice comments in our asynchronous uh, channels and forums all right conclusion uh, in this section I'm going to wrap wrap up all the benefits that could be derived from implementing from the implementation of roundtables in online language classes. So one, it gives more flexibility to the students in terms of their learning schedule in this uh, busy era. Two, it can encourage meaningful and deep learning as the students can, can conduct further research to bridge the gap and gain more educated insights. Three, it promotes skill integration in the most natural and practical way. Four, it can, pro it can provide the students with an optimum level of learner autonomy, particularly thanks to asynchronous learning. And five, the out-of-class activity in the asynchronous version of our roundtables uh, gives so much confidence to the students, especially those who are shy. This optimum level of confidence is rooted in the stress-free atmosphere of commenting and replying at any student's convenience. Okay, we come to the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, let me show you some related lessons uh, selected automatically but intelligently from the tags used in this article. Related posts, uh, English presentation on metaverse, forum definition in context, IELTS essay on online education, IELTS essay on social media, and definition of equity. And uh, so this is the presentation. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this presentation. I did my best to cover all the important points because actually, as I said, this presentation was rather uh, complicated and elaborate. Uh, by the way, if you have any question, you can use the comment form at the bottom of this uh, actually embedded video in our website or actually uh, in our YouTube channel. And I try to answer all of the questions. And if you need further information about social presence, roundtable, flipped learning, asynchronous learning, and some related uh, topics or issues, uh, I encourage you to visit our website and contact me if you think that, for example, you can actually work at the Lilby Society or uh, do something particular, in particular at the Lilby Society. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and see you in our next video. Bye-bye, everybody.